Here's a, that, that Greg Kelly feller. By the way, you're watching that, that old house parks mega worldwide. Holy smokes. Come on now. Uh, this, this is one that uh, Greg Kelly, the most miserable man on the internet, says, F the NFL, their disgusting nonsense and rotten commissioner, Greg Kelly reports. Terrible, terrible. Let's hear it. America, yeah, there's an eagle and a thing. There's Greg Kelly, mad as hell. Truth isn't something he likes to smell, Greg Kelly. F the NFL. Well, you tell him, man. F the NFL. Uh, he pointed right at me when he said that. Like, with your whole penis? Yeah, totally. F the NFL. Oh, totally. Say totally again. They're exploitive. They're oh. anti-American. They're a thousand percent woke. They bear They're a thousand percent work. Well, yeah, I know. They got women playing linebacker parts. It's the they they not they took the N off NFL because they think it's too nationalist. They don't play the uh, the national anthem anymore. Even show the national anthem anymore. Oh. It's too touchy. That's right. They don't even show it except when you're there. For entertainment, this Super Bowl, who do we have? Uh, I think it's I think it's that Snoop Dogg fella. Snoop Dogg and his friend Dr. Dre, two right. guys who really love the slogan "F the police." Dude, this I'm I don't want to hurt, hurt your feelings, but this talking points like so 1993. F the police. At this moment, these guys, one who helped coin the phrase, the other who sings it all the time. F the police. Now, first, congratulations to the Rams and to the. Uh, yeah, well, I don't. I don't congratulate them. It's terrible. NFL says F the police with the halftime show. Feels good for you guys. But in the meantime, this whole... Wait a minute. Why? What do you mean good for you guys? They are part of an exploitive, racist, disgusting, anti-police system. And they need to be brought down immediately. They all need to be... You need the whole game. They shouldn't even be able to wear their team colors anymore. They're a disgrace to the uniform. The Super Bowl should be naked. Just like Greg Kelly says. Display is disgusting, and it's beneath our country. Terrible. They ruined the game. They ruined. What? What did you cut out there, man? They ruined the game. How would they ruin the game? Hold on. What is it? Disgusting, and it's beneath our country. They ruined the game. They ruined the game. How did they ruin the game? They ain't even in the game. They're in the middle of the game. It's when the game ain't happening. Can't ruin something in the middle of it not happening. That's like saying, you ruined my fucking because you knocked the cigarette out of my mouth. I can't watch. Good. At least the rest of us will have a good time. With Snoop Dogg and his boys doing their... Oh, thanks for pronouncing a hard Z. Disgusting nonsense. Now, he's kind of gone mainstream, sure. He hangs out with Martha Stewart and all that stuff. And maybe some have forgotten who this guy is. Yeah, it, it's, it's almost like people... Uh, or he should, you're basically, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Um, Greg Kelly is saying that uh, Snoop Dogg needs to be canceled because not because of what he's doing now, but because of what he did a long time ago, right? That he should be like, uh, what you call it? Kavanaugh. He needs to be Kavanaugh. Good point, Greg Kelly. Yeah, Snoop Dogg should be done in for stuff that he, he did. He ain't done in a long time. What, how very just. Where he comes from, what he said in the past. and what Yeah, where he comes from, just the fact that he's from South Central. You don't let somebody like that in the stadium, much less let him in there singing. That ain't singing. Talking in, in, in rhyme and rhythm. Songs stand for violence, misogyny. Terrible. There's really, really bad. Yeah, that's Trump's territory. You don't take that. If you want, if you want some of that for real, you let Trump come out and sing that John Ashcroft sing, song. Because letting, hey man, Trump singing "Let the Eagle Soar." I'm, I'm starting to get a semi just thinking about it. Up in here, uh, for instance, all you N words out there. Why? I, I think it's a little. I don't think he's yelling it that much. Snoop's been a fairly laid back feller. Take your guns that you using to shoot each other and start shooting these blank, 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 MFing police. That'll impress a MFer 
like me. Okay, Snoop. MF or that's a that's a Bill O'Reilly term. It's MFing N word like me. It's a very complicated thing. Why don't, tell you what? Why don't you go out to your car, put the tape back in, sing it out your window, and try not to get punched in the face? I mean, it's a sport. Gotcha. And here's more. Dipping through the city with a Glock in a Range Rove. If you sleeping, probably not with the same hoe. I won't. What? I think your rhythm is slightly off. I, I, I like dipping through the city with a Glock in a Range Rove. If you sleeping, probably not with the same hoe. Rock the same clothes, rich and. and, and Nanas do and rock by the same code. Tell them a rich and nana too. I'll be in the club with the stick in my shoe. You, you call the effing police like a bi beak bix but cheeses be cheeses nanas do. I understand that. I got that. I hate walking with a stick in my shoe, man. I've had that happen on several occasions. It is unpleasant. Let me tell you what. Continue. All right. You get the idea. No, I don't. I mean, br you know what you should do? Bring on Ted Nugent and ask him about immorality and then play um, uh, part of Stranglehold. These are horrible, horrible, horrible. words. Horrible words. Now they are horrible words. Rock the same clothes. What is that business? Sleeping? Who puts the word sleeping in a song? Honestly, it's one of the least musical words there is. Sleeping. See what I mean? You can't even sing it right. Dip. Who puts dipping in there? Dipping? You mean like dipping and spitting? I had no idea. They did that. Just to give you an idea. And I, oh, thank you for giving me an idea. Refresher. Uh, oh, yes, of course. F the police. F the police. Dr. And did you have to write it twice? Ray made it famous. Uh, Snoop there covered it. This is uh, somehow cool. This is somehow fun. This is. Are they ain't doing it at the at the football game, are they? Is Colin Cap 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 Copernicus is Colin Copernicus going to stand up there and do the whole song on one knee? How woke? Now, it's yeah, that's true. There's nothing more woke than. Uh, than the extra judicial assassination of a law enforcement officer by a drug dealer. You know what I mean? That's right up there with uh, Roe v. Wade. Ludicrous. That these guys... Wait, is Ludicrous performing? Well, shit, say so, son. If it's him and them and them and them and them and them and them, I'm in. Whole country. The whole planet. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is. Ficus. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is. Hi, I'm getting. Hi. Be watching them and their friends perform at the Super Bowl halftime show. Terrible. Quick reminder, yep. less than a week ago, two cops were shot in New York City. Uh, right. But that 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 wasn't a song that was playing. That would reference that. That song was about South Central. During, never mind. Uh, Officer Rivera, just 22 years old. Officer Mora, we haven't even. Yet two men of color had his funeral yet 27 years old. Did you see the funeral on Friday? Uh, this was amazing. And I think this was kind of a, a silent protest by all these officers who are fed up with a. Or they just went there to show their respects. Now, you know what, Glenn, uh, you know, you know what there, Greg, uh, it paid probably whatever you said. Horrible language and treatment of them. Yeah, that's right. It was a silent protest against a song from 1993. Years now. Years. But policing is not a money-making enterprise. Uh, well, being the son of a police commissioner certainly has its perks. So it's not that cool. It's not that culturally relevant in this sick moment. What is? Well, the NFL. They make a lot of money. And uh, they're kind of untouchable in a way. Some of them. You get on their wrong side. I'm talking about a lot of the players. Yeah, yeah some of these players, they'll sick a dog on you. And also, that rotten, rotten commissioner. It has been a difficult time for our country. In particular, black people in our country. 
First, my condolences to the families of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, and all the families who have endured police brutality. Well, Ahmaud Arbery didn't technically endure police brutality. Those were just felons. They just, that just straight old murder. Just, I don't know. Never mind. Keep reading. You mean well. We, the National Football League, condemn racism. From your basement. I swear to God, do you, are you an old, were you a guest on the Brady Bunch? Systematic oppression of black people. He simply didn't know what the hell he was talking about. All right. He's no, a he football guy. He's a, yeah, football guys don't, they don't know what it's like to be around black guys the way Greg Kelly does. And he's talking about systemic racism. Even the use of the phrase is troublesome. Yeah, very upsetting to you. Absolutely. It really is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At that vulnerable moment, he helped poison the waters. There was more. We, the National Football League, believe black lives matter. I personally... Oh, no. Dear God. I mean, they absolutely do in terms of a billion-dollar industry that employs a great deal of them. One would think that's how it'd go. ...test with you and want to be part of the much-needed change in this country. Without black players... There would be no National Football League. And the protests are... Excuse me, Greg Kelly is ready to line up. He's... If you've you never seen him hang out with Tucker, let me talk about what a wide receiver is. All right, country all right, all right. are emblematic of the centuries of silence, inequality, and oppression of black players, coaches, fans, and staff. We are listening. I am listening. I, I All due respect, sir... It looks like you're reading. Now, I don't do a lot of it myself, but I'll trust you on that. And I will be reaching out to players who uh -huh. have raised their voices and others on how we can improve and go forward for a better and more united NFL family. Actually, nice. Oh, wow, this is textbook, textbook virtue signaling. He will personally protest the centuries, centuries of silence directed at players. And uh, this is, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. And if he really cared... Yeah. And if he just didn't want to save his status, uh, he wouldn't be inviting Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. Well, sh well sure he would. I mean, they've, they, basically, these are fellas who were gang members and hung out in the really bad areas, and they have bettered their lives. And over time, they are fathers and pillars of the community, and they've tried to expand themselves. I knew an old gunslinger used to hang down the store, and, his, and in his youth, he was an angry, spiteful little whippersnapper, and he'd, you know, shoot you just as soon as you look at you. He's a preacher now. To the Super Bowl. You know what they stand for? Weed. S weed, what? Misogyny and uh, anti-cop rhetoric. And Oh, so like January 6th, basically. Be anti-cop actions. Right. But... Roger Goodell and the NFL in general, I guess, they just want to appease the mob right now. Terrible. And how do you do that? How? Maybe hold a couple of white guys out as examples, like that Coach Gruden uh, from the Vegas Raiders. Uh -huh. Remember that? They went through his emails and found out that he may have used an unfortunate... Yeah, nobody goes through your emails. You send them emails out to other people, and those people have your emails. And you go, oh, yeah, that guy's an asshole. In a word, 10 I, By the way, I do not use emails. I use F-mail. <laughs> And it's it's it allows it auto fills all dirty words no matter what you write. I figure it just gets rid of the the weak early. Years ago, uh -huh. in an email about Roger Goodell, and they fire him. This is crazy stuff. They're about to have a couple of guys who love to say the N word in public on stage. For oh my God, Don Jr. is going to be at the Super Bowl. Living culture really isn't a bad place, and and. and it trickles down every yeah that you watch Snoop Dogg performs at the at the Super Bowl and next thing you know there'll be a, a, a I don't know a, a, it'll trickle down next thing they'll there'll be a bunch of preschoolers sitting around uh, and they'll be singing uh, F the police in a round folks are picking up on all of these cues from 
pop performers like those guys and the woke mob. Yeah, we are a bit doughy headed in this country. I can't even watch a song without doing exactly um, what it tells me to do. I've been in so much trouble when Do You Think I'm Sexy comes on the radio. And some of them are just acting out. I think they've actually been encouraged to say and do things like this. Also, music and video games are responsible for crime, not the individual. I see what you mean. Yeah, so so Americans are doughy-headed. Gotcha. This is a teacher and these three people, ordinary people, all got the... Well, they don't look ordinary to me. They look very special. ...selves in big trouble. Um, but you know what? In a weird way, they're going with the flow. <laughs> Wait a minute. These are people who have been canceled effectively for doing something, and in and yet... They, they're protected by the... There's a teacher from Brooklyn. Uh -huh. And when you saw the, the big funeral the other day, all those cops, this guy thought, hey, ideal conditions for reciprocity. What he was getting at is somebody should take a car and drive... Yeah, we understand what he's saying. What happened to him? Through that great big crowd of... Right, not him, obviously. Not this feller. He ain't gonna do it. Hey, he means somebody else. He's a little... He's a little beta for that kind of activity. He needs somebody like you with the with a history of drunk driving. Peace. Another woman was. Yeah. Did. Uh, yeah. Okay. A asshole. Tweet something. Got gotcha. you. Said that she had to. I don't know. Walk around the block. She was inconvenienced by the funeral. Oh yeah, that's that Guzman lady. She got fired by her theater company for for shitting on a dead Hispanic cop. Then she said some horrible things. About, about a dead Hispanic cop. Deceased officer. We do not need to shut down most of lower Manhattan because one cop died for probably doing his job incorrectly. They kill people. For probably doing his job incorrectly. It, they, By the way, in case you don't know, he and his partner, the other guy who died later, um, they were both assassinated um, at, a, at a domestic violence call. People who are under 22 every single day for no good reason and um uh citation needed lady don't shut down the city for them she's wrong on every score every count there they don't shoot people every day actually shooting civilians is a fairly rare occurrence yeah and, and if greg kelly had his way it would be less rare you can thank the mainstream woke media politically motivated who exaggerate it beyond all proportion <laughs> Well, probably in response to you downplaying it to near worthless status. And then finally, this is possibly the most sinister and strange and illegal. Uh, and the blackest, which I know scares you. Everything you just seen. Bro, but if I'd have known about that mother funeral, I would have that up, bro. All the way. 100% I'd have that up, bro. I'm telling you. You ought to get around that. What, how? How? Are we talking paintball guns? Or are we talking mooning it? Or what are those cops? Oh my goodness, sir. I can't wait. I'm looking for the next cop funeral. I'm going to f it up, bro. Now, I think this. So, those three people on social media define society. Okay, good. All right. Well, as reprehensible. I, I know. Uh, I didn't realize I lived in such a shithole country. And the same goes for the other two. But they're, they're taking the cues from media, from society. Uh, uh, oh, I see. Hold on. Wait. I have to, I, I got to jump over to this one. Wait one second. Is this guy? Where are we? Yeah, this guy. So this is, this is what we're to take. These three assholes said what they said and were as awful as they were. Not because they're awful or they're amoral or gross on their own. These three people were motivated by the fact that Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg are singing at the halftime show of the NFL. That's it's it there is a a logic linkage there. Gotcha. All right. Can't put it all on them. They didn't invent this. No, they were they were hypnotized by Roger Goodell. Okay? They've been just taking it all in from the lyrics to the news. Yeah, the, the like they they were playing that uh um cop killing version of Madden what results and that is hostility toward cops and brings me back to the nfl it doesn't have to be like this okay it doesn't have to be this crass and vulgar display at one well, i don't think they're doing that song at the actual point not that long ago 1990 do you know what the theme of the super bowl was peanuts 
like Charlie Brown and Linus and Snoopy. It was yes, things you understood. 40th anniversary. So, you know, clinging to a blanket, sucking your thumb. These are things that that made Greg Kelly happy. 1990. Look at how they entertained the world back then. Wow, what a great birthday party. Granted, the music was a little bit lame, but. But then Greg, so is Greg Kelly. This, there's got to be a happy median, right? Something. Yes, somewhere between, yeah. Maybe, maybe if Snoopy um, did fuck the police with an Aldous lamp. Between this. Like, not because he can't speak. And Snoop Dogg. I mean, look at it. Now we've got, we had Snoopy. So there is a time. A we time have time. the depraved, perverted Snoopy. Shouldn't be like this. Uh, I hope the NFL will rethink their decision. Still time to make a change. Jesus Christ. That's, and by the way, didn't we just watch friggin' Tucker Carlson do a whole show about um, how the Gen, Gen Saki and the, and the media aren't paying attention to the real issues? Fucking hell. Oh, we're out of time. I'm, I'm over. Um, you guys are wonderful. The, yeah. <laughs> I'm... Yeah, is he going back to Janice Nipslip? No, he can't. Otherwise, he'll get excited on the air. Prince Halftime was indeed the best. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure if you asked uh, Greg Kelly about Prince's songs, um, w there would be a similar diatribe. He just didn't have, you know, the opportunity to tie it to some, you know, greater problem. Yeah, the NFL doesn't care what Greg Kelly is saying. Let's see. The must-watch game, um, uh, you know, it, the only thing, like, close to the World Cup that is a singular U.S. sport, watch the world over, and they're like, should we take our cues from a fourth-tier news asshole on Newsmax who, no matter what happens, if we use a black artist, will start to panic and all the blood will seep out of his head?